Land birds, such as Darwin's finches and mockingbirds, are famous for their sheer diversity and uniqueness. Yet scientists still don't have the full picture of their population numbers, health, and breeding success. To fill this knowledge gap and improve the conservation management of many at-risk birds, a bi-institutional project between the Charles Darwin Foundation and the Galapagos National Park Directorate has been carried out since 2013. Our team of field biologists, lab specialists, and collaborators act as scientific advisors to the National Park to help them gain a fuller understanding of the land birds living in this delicately balanced ecosystem to allow them to thrive. Since 2012, the Foundation has spent over 30,000 hours researching the invasive nest parasite Phalornis downsi and conducted a 10-year research program on the critically endangered mangrove finch, a bird that was successfully captive reared at the station last year. Last year, the Foundation, in conjunction with the National Park, launched a multi-year study to determine population trends of 20 threatened birds through an annual population count, with a focus on inhabited islands with major conservation concerns. The Lambert program is really important because it is going to give us a clear snapshot of the species that need more attention. Some species, like the Galapagos and North Martin, probably have less than 1,000 individuals, so it is really important that improve the knowledge of these species, specifically of the distribution and population numbers, as well as the other threatened land bird species of the archipelago, so we can actually create a specific conservation plan for these species to try to arrest their decline. Y ahora, en estos últimos tiempos, hemos venido realizando programas en conjunto con la Fundación Charles Darwin para conocer más eh, sobre la ecología de estas especies y en especial saber los factores que están afectando a la disminución de la mayoría de, de las especies de aves pequeñas, en especial los pinzones y la golondrina de Galapagos. Until now, there has been very few multi-year population studies of land birds in the Galapagos, despite the fact that these birds face growing pressures from the ever-growing human population, which now numbers 25,000 people. This large-scale pioneering bird census will cover every inch of the populated islands, from the coast to the highlands, something that has never been done before in the history of the Galapagos. And if funding allows, it will be extended to other islands that are thought to host threatened birds. In addition to establishing population trends, this research will enable the Foundation to create a definitive list of threatened bird species that require further study, so that it can determine the threats that are at the root of their decline. To conduct the census, our science team drew on the support of BirdLife Austria, and in January this year, an international team of scientists and volunteers undertook bird counts on a handful of the islands in the archipelago over a three-month period. The team worked in trying conditions in the highlands, coastal estuaries, cactus forests, and mangrove swamps to ensure that every area was surveyed. Previous studies on Santa Cruz show that the decline of land birds is mainly among insect-eating birds, so the local land bird team will conduct an in-depth study of several insectivorous bird species. Currently, the team is conducting a flagship study of the iconic Vermilion flycatcher to create a baseline study of the bird's health, genetics, and breeding success. Once the Vermilion flycatcher study is complete, the research team will then replicate this study for other at-risk insect eaters to determine any general trends among insectivorous birds. Fortunately, a number of these study sites lie within a stone's throw to local schools, so through visits to field sites, we've shown dozens of local children how we conduct field research. Through these educational visits, kids learn about the introduced animals that eat and compete with our native birds, bird spotting tips and tricks, and how science is helping to paint the picture of the secret lives of birds. For some of these birds, time is of the essence, so by combining research with hands-on conservation management, the Charles Darwin Foundation and the Galapagos National Park can help ensure the iconic birds of the Galapagos survive into the future. <laughs>